Let's just get one thing straight. I am not a fashionista, never have been, never will be, which is probably why I'm still single and why getting dressed every morning is so complicated. I give you the truth behind what girls wear, or if these clothes could talk, or how to dress like how you feel. All excellent titles for a Lifetime movie. When it comes to fashion, versatility is the key word. You gotta flip your styles at a moment's notice. Before you get started with your look, do some research, aka scour Pinterest and have others do the research for you. First up, the hipster. Start with a pair of skinny jeans. You can buy these cheap on a site like My Habit. It says, I'm skinny-ish, and I don't mind chafing. I shouldn't have eaten last night. The truth? I just got invited to a basement slash art space to watch an artist paint oranges while 1980s sitcom themes play in the background. Next, put on some musky garb you found at your grandma's yard sale, or its spiritual cousin, modcloth.com. Whatevs. It's like, I'm ironic. Oh, the glasses? Thanks. I read Vice, Allen Ginsberg, and have a Tumblr page dedicated to the streaming consciousness of cats. They're awesome. I listen to Existential Orchestral EDM, and Radiohead, and your mom. And cute, sultry heartbreaker. When you wanna go out and meet a real nice fella who's gonna treat you real nice. Now it doesn't matter what you're wearing up here. As long as it's paired with six inch heels you found on Zappos. It says, I am tall and graceful and I'm disguising my stumpy legs. It's worth it, most of the time. Boom, hello boys. Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. Except not, because women are not property, chauvinist. Sometimes we gotta be running the business. Who's the boss? I am. Start this look at Kohl's or Macy's.com. Pants, because I didn't shave my legs all week. A fitted blazer, because I don't have cleavage, I have responsibility. Pilates, errands, a 401k plan, I think. Electronic assistance, just to say what up. I'm about to negotiate a raise, discuss SEO, and drink too much at South by Southwest and make out with a startup founder in the back of an Uber. <laughs> he still hasn't written me back on Facebook. It's complicated. You just got invited to Coachella, so it's time to dress like it. Anything goes, as long as it's ripped. Find vintage jewelry on Etsy that hopefully no one has died in. No, actually, that's not true. Death is so very retro. Pluck feathers from local birds and stick them into your hair and stuff. Caca! Caca! Anything neon or sparkly, just rub it on your face. It says, I may not have showered for three days, but it's cool. You can still kiss me. I'm free. Free as a bird eye. And don't forget to take a selfie. Sites like WikiHow tell you how to dress when you don't want anyone to see how you dress. You know what this means. It's that time of the month. I just gained two pounds last night by eating the whole plate of apple cobbler at Denny's. But it's cool, I'm chill. I'm just gonna take a walk to the grocery store where no one will see me, except my ex-boyfriend. Why is life so hard? And that's just five things a girl's wardrobe can say about her. I'm sure there's more and I'm missing them. Leave a comment below and I will try it on for size in another video. Thank you to my friendly friends at Intel for giving me this swell ultrabook convertible. It also doubles as a pair of short shorts, little known fact. It's the rage at Coachella.